Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. In this one I'm going to be doing the Tatums. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure that would be pronounced Tatum. I don't know how else it would be pronounced. But in this tutorial video I'm going to go over the basic steps all the way to uploading the avatar. So without further ado I'm just going to get right into it. So you're first going to want to download the Tatum VRChat avatar. And that's up on Gumroad. I'll have a link to that in the description. You're next going to want to download Krita. This is what we'll be using to actually paint the model. And then again, downloading Unity and making sure you download Unity 2018. Now here to 4.20, you want to download this one. And then log in to your VRChat account on our website and then download the SDK3. You want to make sure you download the VRChat SDK3. And then go down here and you're going to want to download the Avatars one, not the Worlds one. So once you got all the downloads done, you're going to go over to your files and go to the Tatum file. You're going to go down here to Tatum paint and then you're going to want to press the Krita one and then double click that. All right. And then once you have opened that up, you should see this and this here is where we're going to actually paint the model. So instead of uh, substance painter, which uh, if you watch the uh, Shiba tutorials, you'd be used to the 3D and 2D view. But since this is Krita, this is all just based off of 2D view and not 3D. So it's a little bit difficult painting on here compared to Substance Painter, but it still has some of the same setup, I guess, as Substance Painter. Again, it uses the layer system, like Substance Painter here on the right. So I'll explain that for anyone who isn't familiar with that. So over here on the right, this is where all your layers are going to be. And what the layers are is they set up where uh, you can see the mouth, this is a separate layer, and if we go down here, this should be main body. And you can always check that by pressing this little eyeball icon here, and this, this will kind of give you an idea of where it is on the 2D view. So if you wanted to actually paint the model, you'd go here to the main body, press this little eyeball icon, you get an idea where that is. And here, this is where you can actually change all the colors. So. I'm going to just start, I'm not going to go over every layer, but I'm just going to go over some of the basic ones, like the main body, for example, and the uh, tail as well. So how you're actually going to paint. How I do it is I use the paint bucket, and I just then choose a color over here on the right, whatever color you want, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a blue, and then you'll just paint the, uh, you just press the paint bucket over the color you want to replace. Let's say now you don't want the pink here. So how I'm going to change that is I'm going to select the fin. I'll do red. And if you happen to miss and you do, uh, if you happen to do this, you can just press Control Z and it'll undo the last action. Uh, and then once you've changed all the layers that you want affected and you are ready to export this, again I would first save as. Save it here. So then I can come back to this and make changes to it later. But how we're going to actually export this as a texture is we're going to go here again to save as. And then save as type, we're going to change to PNG right here. And make sure it's in the right folder and then save. And then you can just select OK for that. Alright, and then once you have exported your textures and you saved your project, you're going to then open up Unity and you go up here to create new project, name the project. Make sure you uh, have the location set to where you'll remember and then create project. All right, and once Unity has opened, I'm going to open up our folder. And I go to our Tatum file and drag in the VRChat SDK3 down here into Assets. And then once this prompt comes up, you're just going to press Import. All right, and once the VRChat SDK has imported, you're going to go up here to Assets Store and type in Dynamic Bones. And then this should be the first thing that pops up. You're going to want to download this for $20. And this will be used to make the ears flop around and the tail move around too. Alright, and once you have gotten dynamic bones, you're going to then go into your folder again. Go to your Tatum file again, Unity Packages, and then drag in the Tatum PC. Unless you're wanting to upload a Quest version, which you can do. Otherwise, I'm just going to do the PC version right now. Alright, once your model has been imported, you're going to then go and press the Tatum file, PC avatar, prefab, and you're going to click and drag the Tatum PC up here into the hierarchy. And I'm going to go over some basic controls for Unity. 
So how to actually view around is you just right click and hold it, move your mouse around, and you can press WASD as well while holding right click and then WASD. You can also move around using the mouse. You can also press Control, Alt, and left click. And you can also press Control, right click to zoom. And you can use the scroll wheel as well. With those basic controls out of the way, I'm going to actually show you how to apply the textures we made in Krita onto the model. So what you're going to want to do is go back here to PC Avatar Materials. That's the material file here. And these are where all the materials are for the model. So we're going to clip this folder here, go to where we exported the PNG, and you're going to click and drag that into the project. And once that's been imported, you're going to then select each of these materials and you're going to click and drag this texture up into each one of these boxes. And mix it here. And there. And that is pretty much it. So once you got how you want your model to look, you can go up here to VRChat SDK and then press show control panel. You're going to sign into your account, go over here to Builder, and you're going to auto fix this error. And then you're going to go down here to Build and Publish for Windows. Alright, and once you got this screen, you can go over here to Avatar Name, and you can name your avatar. And then you can go here to Sharing, and there's an option between Private and Public. The difference between these two are Private pretty much is only you can use the avatar, no one else can clone it. Public, other people, if you have cloning on, can use your avatar. But other than that, I'm going to show you how to actually customize your own avatar profile picture here. How you do that is you go up here to Scenes, select the camera here, and move that around. And you can change the field of view here so you can zoom in or out. You can have something like this. And you can change the background color as well. So you can go here to clear flags and click select solid color. And you can change that here. Change the background color to whatever you like. Let's say maybe you wanted a custom picture for your background. Or you had art of your character that you just wanted uploaded for your uh, profile picture. I'll show you how to do that here. What you'll do is you'll go up here to game object. 3D object, and then you'll select plane. Sometimes it might be back away, so you can move it. I usually press control and select one of these points and move them around. And you can go here to rotation on the X and change that to 90. If you have a custom image you'd like to put in here, you can just go to your folder and then drag it in here to your assets. And once you've got the image you'd like to put onto your background, all you'll do is you'll click the picture and you'll drag it right onto that plane. You then select the plane and you go here to shader, click on that, to unlit and select texture. And sometimes it might be a little bit blurry so what you can do is you move this for forward a little bit. There we go. Otherwise, if you wanted just the background, what you can do is you can just either select the avatar and move it out of the way. There you go. You can move the camera around so that it fits the whole picture in there. Move it back if you need to. Or you can rescale it as well over here in scale. Or you can just press R. You can go out a little bit that but once you got how you want your profile picture to look you can go back here to game look at it here and then once you're ready you can just press this checkbox and then press upload all right and once you're in VR chat you're going to then just open up your menu select the avatar and then just go here to this tab called my creations select the avatar you've uploaded and just change right into it so if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful consider possibly liking and subscribing i'd really appreciate it Helps out a lot. But other than that, you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.